What's going on everybody? We are driving down Interstate 49, headed to a town called Opelousas. It is June the 17th, 2020, Wednesday. We have a no cooling call, and he says that this thing is blowing extreme heat out of the vents, not just normal warm air like when a unit quits cooling he said this thing is like blowing hot hot air so i have a suspicion that we have a heat pump stuck in the heating mode and that's just a guess but we'll find out for sure when we get there all right we're on our service call we have a goodman Two and a half ton from 01. Not cooling. I was wrong. It's not a heat pump, but I was right in an area of sort of one point. We do have heat running with the air. We have a locked on. We have a stuck relay back there. 10 kW worth of heat running with the AC. So we are gonna solve that issue. All right, guys, here's the old one. Light. So what I did is I changed it to a sequencer. The light might be a little bright. You can see it back there. So now, if I've done my job right, the thermostat is set on cool. We should not get any heat strips. You can hear the refrigerant flowing. Hopefully you can on camera. And there's the blower motor. With no heat kit running. I'm going to check that capacitor because it doesn't look healthy. But now I want to go to off. wait for it to shut off and then I'm gonna run the heat strips and just make sure they work I tell you what man this nib nib uh, while we're waiting Nebo Rebel I do not like it as a headlight it comes as a headlight and you can take it off the headlight band but it's got a magnet back here for working in air handlers look at this Thing is fantastic I don't like the headlight part of it at all but I do like it like this okay now we're gonna go to heat it's pretty hot in here I hope the thermostat will even turn the heat on sequencer takes a minute that bimetal strip has to warm up so we'll give it a minute and we should hear a click and the way it's wired up, this should bring the fan motor and the strips on at the same time. Like I said, if the thermostat will even turn the heat on because it's so damn hot in here, I may have to jump it out. I know sequencers have a delay, but I don't think it's that long. Nope, there it is. Okay, so we have 43 amps and a blower motor. So it's working. We'll go back to off. Or actually we'll just satisfy the temperature. And here in a minute you'll hear the sequencer click and the heat strips will drop out. And so will the blower motor. Then I'll, yep, there it goes. Amps are gone. All right, now we're going to check the capacitor. Okay, we have a, let's get the light on the subject, 7.5, reading 6.6, .6. so we're going to go ahead and replace that. 
Uh, he's in a me he's a, he's in a phone meeting upstairs. He has given me authorization to do whatever I have to do to get this unit running. We have the new 7.5. We're gonna test it. Seven point six. And we'll simply oh, that's the quarter inch. Simply remove that one. I have my handy dandy kit, the tinning one and the strippers, but I had to go get these long ones to reach in the back back there to get that old relay out. Much smaller this one is. Okay, now we can cut the uh, AC back on. You hear the refrigerant flowing? There's the blower. Oh, it sounds much stronger when it starts. Oh, let me go back to amps. Okay, and we have no heat strip running. Okay, that's a success. Now we'll check the refrigerant in the unit. Alright, it's all back together. I'll tell you what, man, this little unit's in good shape for a 01. And it's it's cooling now, but we're gonna go check the Freon, like I said. Okay, so it's a CLJ18-1. Connections from 03. So they're running a ton and a half condenser on a two and a half ton air handler, which will work fine. Uh, suction pressure is a little high, but it is extremely hot in there. So I'm not really concerned with it. But the head pressure is wonderful. The suction pressure is running about 81, 82. But like I said, it's, it's probably 90 plus in there. And this is just for a bonus room uh, that they hang out in. And it's uh, now that the uh, strip heat is not running with the air, it's cooling well. And there's the disconnect way over there. The condenser's out here in the yard. Lines go underground, so does the high voltage. And they didn't even bother. What the hell? That's copper. That's a rigid copper going. Oh, shit. That's for the damn low voltage. I'm an idiot. There's the whip. Okay, I didn't even see the damn whip. Looks like they put the low voltage line in some copper pipe with a connector, which that's a new one on me. I've never seen copper pipe used as conduit. So, suction pressure's coming down a little bit. It's about down to 80, so we're, we're okay. All right, guys, uh, we got that system going, as you saw. Uh, heat kit stuck on with the AC and uh, I had to end up putting a little shot of gas in his main unit for the house. It was a 99 Goodman heat pump. He had no desire to do a leak search or even talk about a replacement right now. He said he's going to let that old Goodman on the main house, on the main part of the house, he said he's going to let it run until he dies, then he'll replace it. I said, okay, not a problem. So we gassed him up and uh, he's he's happy. Uh, took my cards and he's a happy customer. So, all right guys, thank y'all for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.